Something really bad happened and I ended up in juvenile, in jail. Once I stepped into the courtroom and I heard the time, I felt like, well, this is where I'm probably gonna be for the rest of my life. We all know that children make mistakes. And the question is, is as a society, how do we want to deal with those mistakes? What are the consequences that we want? We advocate on behalf of individual children who are in conflict with the law. We do systemic reform and we teach. The lowest possible risk of recidivism. We involve students in all of our work. They work with our clients, they interview them, they argue their cases in court, they write the motions, they help the clients when they get out of prison re-enter into society. And then you're gonna work with Margot on doing the intake for... One of the big reform efforts is to eliminate the extreme sentencing of children. That is the sentence of juvenile life without parole because we know that prison is not the answer for most children. In reality, having society understand that children should be punished differently than adults has really been a struggle for the last 20 years. If they have substance abuse issues or mental health issues, we gotta help them get the services that they need. There are other ways to to rehabilitate and to provide consequences for young people that keep the public safe, that are cost effective, that are just, that are humane and more efficient. Here in Illinois, we have the first juvenile court which recognize that children should be treated differently in the eyes of the law. We've closed one prison and we're about to close another juvenile prison. We are on the ground representing individual children and we know their lives, we know their stories, we know their struggles. And we can bring that individual knowledge about what really is happening to our reform efforts. We tell our clients' stories to judges, to the Prisoner Review Board who makes decisions about releasing children from prison, to legislators, to other stakeholders. Even if we don't win a case for a child, we feel that a child needs a chance and we're here to provide them a chance that they haven't been given. When we stand next to them and we witness what's happening to them, it makes them feel empowered and that they're worthy of being represented and worthy of moving on in their lives. That made me feel really, really special. <laughs> really special to have somebody like them help me and be there for me when I got out. Even till this day, after the case, nine years later, they're still in my corner. So 100 kids. The MacArthur Award moves an institution uh, to the next level. And I think we're going to be able to use this award to raise the profile of the great work that the attorneys and social workers and students in the center do.